Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, I am using my ZY430. Now, it has been a while. It is refresh season for me, so we are refreshing our razors. This is full hollow, and I will be going through my razors, and you'll start seeing uh, different razors coming up in the next videos. Yep. And for our soap tonight, Sunday morning, and this is Stash Soap Works. It is a fine soap. It is quite nice. Yep. Now I have had that blooming. So let's go ahead, pour off that bloom water, and we're going to put it on this pre shave. Yep. Yeah, this soap is fantastic. It really has a complex scent and uh, quite nice though, quite nice. Mm. Really good. All right, now let's go ahead, get those hands dried off, yeah. And for a brush tonight, I am using my, get a little of that water out of there. I'm using my Samoke Owners Club, and this is a nice brush. That is cherry wood, premium bore knot. It is very nice. So we got most of that water out of there but not all of it. Let's get that brush loaded up. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, how's your weekend going? Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Yeah. Hopefully you're able to relax, be with family and friends. Yeah, just enjoy it. And uh, hopefully the world's treating you good. Yeah. And uh, how about the shaves? You having some good shaves? I hope so. Yeah. That is so important to have a good shave and be able to just enjoy it. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Take the time, enjoy your shave. Oh yeah. Now, I think we got enough on that brush. I'm just gonna clean up around that bowl like normal. And we're going to put most of that on the brush. Put the rest on the face. Now, how are you liking these uh, premieres? You know, are you, I'm trying to find the best time to air. So if you have any suggestions down in the comments, leave me suggestions about a good time to air. Now this one, I'm trying a different time. So let's see how that goes and maybe it's more convenient for some, but we'll find out, yeah. But all in all, you know, what do you think of the YouTube premieres? Yeah, let, it, let me know down in the comments about that as well. You know, I, I see it has some issues with uh, timing, but so does going with a live shave as well. So we'll have to see how that goes. The good thing about the uh, YouTube premiere though, is we can watch it live with a live chat while the video is going on. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, had people, had some viewers uh, go ahead and participate in the last ones, which was really nice. I really appreciate you by the way, for stopping by for the video and uh, it was, you know, it, it was really interesting. So that's good. All right, we're gonna put some more water on this. Now, Erica's soaps can take that water, yeah. Here we go. 
<laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. Now, if you're new around here, I do these Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So stop on by and check those out, all right? And if you're new, give me a hashtag new down in the comments. Let us know you're new here and we'll welcome you as a community. It is so good to have you. So thanks for stopping by for this shave as well. I really appreciate it. And now in the description, I also have a ton of links there to uh, useful videos and playlists about straight razor shaving and honing. So you can check that out as well after this video is over. Yeah. Now, this is past one for me. That's going to primarily be with the grain. Let's do this. Nice. Just blowing right through it. That is so good. Wow. There we go. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, this, I, like I say, I just refreshed this and it's got a sweet edge on it. Nice. Yeah, cut right through those whiskers.
All right, looking good. Yeah, feels so good to have a good shave. All right, very good. Now, this is the razor I was talking about the other day for beginners because it's got that round tip that is brilliant. It makes it so much less uh, dangerous and forgiving that uh, it'll really help you out. You know, if you're new and beginning, you definitely don't want a blade with a point at the end of it. So something like this would be really good. And this is inexpensive. It is a Chinese razor and uh, it will hold an edge. And as you see, it does cut. So that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as opposed to uh, that fine edge Osti so that has got a point on it. Mm-hmm. All right, that's looking good. I think it can still take some water though. Yeah, there you go. That looks like it right there. Mm -hmm. Nice. That is good stuff. Yes, it is. Now, I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So, that means coming up, we got a Friday special. Yes. And this is the Straight Razor Edge Friday special. You can click on this card to see the last one. Making a super ladder. Oh, it is ridiculously huge volumes of lather and creamy and slick. It's amazing. So you should check that one out. Now, I also get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for an upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. Yep. Definitely. Now this is my second pass. In this pass two, that's going to be primarily against the grain for me. Let's do this. Yeah, it's been a while since I shaved with this razor, but this is a good one. I've always enjoyed it, and it is a fine shaver. 
and can really hold an edge quite nicely. So if you're thinking about getting into straight razor shaving, a ZY430 could be the ticket for you. Switching up that hand and the handle. Now, especially on this against the grain pass, that blade is almost flat on my face. Hmm, maybe got a little close right there, but I can't really tell. Doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's too big of a deal anyway. All right. Now we're going to switch hands, get this other side. Oh yeah, nice soap. With this, you can really buff. You know, you can continually go over that area and get it just spot on. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's it. I'm telling you, this has got a nice edge on it. Now, it is an IR, ILR edge as well, and uh, as my friend George would say, buttery smooth. Oh yeah, very nice. And those cheeks, definitely spot on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Really is. Now... Go ahead and get that dried off a little bit. Here we go. Time for the half pass. If you haven't seen the half pass revealed, go ahead and click on that card. Um, it'll give you a little bit more detail on this. Basically, I'm just going to be doing an across the grain. No, against the grain. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Been a long day. Been a long week, for that matter. But, anyway. It'll be against the grain on my jawline, my neck for the most part. And uh, it's going to finish me off nicely. Yes, it is. It is going to do the trick. Hmm. 
And really, the less you can run a blade over your face and your skin, the more comfortable the shave is going to be. So hopefully, we get to the point to where we do the least amount of work for the best possible results. That would be good. All right, so now this is the half pass. Let's do it. Wow, <laughs> that is good. That is sharp and just cleaning up that, that net nicely. It really is. There we go. All right, now the shave in the books. Yep. And doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like I cut anything. Doesn't really look like I hit anything. Looked like maybe there was something there, but I can't see it anymore. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we call it. There were no bumps harmed in the shave video or not. All right. You know what? Vote down in the comments. All right. That would be cool because I feel, don't feel like I'd really hit anything. It looked like there might have been something there, but it's not there anymore. So, yeah, go ahead. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Now, that was alum everywhere. Here we go. I'm gonna dry that off. For our aftershave kind of thing, Thayer's and where is it? There it is. All right, Thayer's. And this is the Rose Petal. This is just awesomely good stuff. It really is. Finally got it in focus. Oh, I'm still working with this uh, new setup, so we'll get there. Just a matter of time. Mmm. <laughs> and again, this scent is quite nice. And this Thayer's is good for the skin. And I use it everywhere. So, now, time for the cologne thing. And tonight, we are using Panade Clubman. And this is the original. Yep. So, this is going to be a good one. 
I think it'll pair nicely. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy, that is good. I like that. That's got a fantastic scent. And we're going to top this shave off with Nivea Poche Balm. Oh yeah. This is going to be good. Take care of the skin. And you can't beat that. So you're going to do it. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Click on this card to see how to start honing. Okay, this is a honing guide. Might be very interesting for you. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.